If you're looking for a natural way to lower your blood pressure, you may want to consider L-arginine. But what exactly is L-arginine? What does the science say about its safety and efficacy? How do you take it for best result? What is the recommended dosage? Are there any side effects? Are there any people who should not be taking L-arginine? Well, my name is Kwe I'm a pharmacist. And in this video, I'm going to answer those questions and more. And also stay tuned to the end as I'll give you one pro tip as to how to get the best out of your L-arginine supplements if you decide to take the supplements. So for starters, what is L-arginine and how does it work? Well, L-arginine is an amino acid, one of the building blocks of protein in your body. It is one that is sometimes referred to as semi-essential. That means that your body can make some of it, but for the most part, you're going to need supplementation either from a dietary source or from a supplement. L-arginine can be obtained from food sources such as meat, dairy, nuts, and seeds. Your body converts L-arginine into nitric oxide, a gas which has several functions and benefits for the cardiovascular system. One of the main roles of nitric oxide is to relax the blood vessels and also cause them to dilate or open up. This allows blood to freely flow through them and in so doing, there is reduction in blood pressure. Now as a side note, that is the reason why L-arginine is actually recommended in the management of erectile dysfunction or ED. This is because it improves the blood flow that is necessary to obtain and to keep an erection. Uh, but that's a video for another day. I'll probably consider doing a video specifically geared towards that. Now in addition, nitric oxide may also prevent blood flow formation, it may reduce inflammation, and also prevent the buildup of plaque in the arteries, further reducing your risk for heart disease and stroke. Now there have been several studies that have investigated the effects of L-arginine supplementation on blood pressure in different populations. There are so many to choose from. I'll put some links in the description if you want to read further. But I just wanted to highlight this particular one. A meta-analysis of 11 randomized controlled trials that involved 387 people who were given L-arginine supplements in doses ranging between 4 and 24 grams per day found out that supplementation with L-arginine reduced the systolic blood pressure, that is the top number, by about 5.39 millimeters of mercury and the diastolic, the bottom number, by about 2.66 millimeters of mercury. And as I mentioned, there are so many studies that all point to the fact that supplementation with arginine has definitely some positive effect on reducing blood pressure. Now let's talk about dosing. And as with most other supplements, there's really not a standard dose for L-arginine supplementation. But most of the studies use doses ranging between 6 grams per day to 30 grams per day, typically divided into 3 doses per day. Now it's worth noting that the higher the dose, the greater the risk or the greater the incidence of developing side effects and typically most people will keep L-arginine doses around 9 grams per day just to avoid some of these side effects. Now talking about side effects, these usually tended to be gastrointestinal in nature so we're talking about nausea, vomiting, bloating, things of that sort but they tended to be very mild in most instances and they were usually observed when the doses went up or in other words if the doses approached 30 grams per day or over then that is when they observe some of these gastrointestinal side effects but for the most part most people who took below around 9 grams per day typically observed no such gastrointestinal side effects. Now let's talk about people who shouldn't be taking L-arginine or people for whom L-arginine may not be recommended. The first on my list is people who have had a history of a heart attack. Uh, it has been documented that taking L-arginine supplements in that population group tends to increase their risk of death. So if you've had a heart attack in the past, it will be you may not be a good candidate. You may want to double check with your doctor before you take any L-arginine arginine supplements. The second group of people is people who have allergies or a history of asthma. L-arginine has been known to exacerbate or aggravate these conditions so be careful if you have allergies or a history of asthma. The third group of people are people who have a history of cold sores or genital herpes. L-arginine in high concentrations has been known to reactivate the virus that causes genital herpes and cold sores. So if you have a history of that, yeah, you may want to stay away from L-arginine. Now some potential drug interactions. And the first on my list is blood thinness. If you are on blood thinness, warfarin, coumadin, things of that sort, L-arginine itself can slow down clotting. And therefore, when combined with other blood thinness, it may increase the risk of bleeding. So be careful if you take blood thinners. The second class of medications that you want to be careful about are medications that are called, um, well, they are water pills, but they are called potassium sparing diuretics. 
In other words, there are some water pills that tend to increase your potassium levels. And L-arginine also is known to increase your potassium levels. So when combined, your potassium levels may go out of range or may become too high. Typical example of such potassium sparing diuretics is one that we call spironolactone or the brand name is aldactone. So always double check with your pharmacist or your doctor to make sure that you are a good candidate to start L-arginine supplements. The next one is erectile dysfunction medications, Viagra Cialis. Uh, this is because those medications also have the tendency to make your blood pressure drop. And, and if you're combining that with L-arginine, which also works along a similar principle to make your blood pressure drop, sometimes your blood pressure may drop to dangerously low levels. So generally speaking, they are not recommended to be taken together. Make sure you're running it by your doctor. If he says it's okay, then great. But if not, you want to be careful. Now onto the pro tip that I mentioned about getting the best out of your L-arginine supplements. Several studies have demonstrated that taking L-arginine and L-citrulline results in higher concentrations of nitric oxide, the gas that I talked about in the system, which is what actually causes the, the relaxation of the blood vessels and subsequently reduction in blood pressure. Now here's the thing, when you take L-arginine, it undergoes what we call first pass metabolism. That means that a significant portion of the L-arginine is actually destroyed in the liver before it actually gets into your blood circulation to be absorbed and to be converted into this nitric oxide. The L-citrulline itself is also converted into L-arginine and then subsequently into nitric oxide. So you have a higher concentration of nitric oxide in the system that affects the lowering of the blood pressure that you desire. So the question that I get asked is that, okay, so then why don't you just go ahead and take L-citrulline? Because, you know, the argument is that when you take L-citrulline, it will be converted into L-arginine, which eventually gives you the nitric oxide. And it is also documented that the L-citrulline does not undergo that much of a significant first pass metabolism. In other words, most of the L-citrulline that you take will end up being converted into nitric oxide. And the reason why taking the L-citrulline alone is not necessarily recommended, but a combination of both is recommended, is that it gives what is called a synergistic effect. In other words, when you take L-arginine alone and L-citrulline alone, versus when you combine L-arginine and L-citrulline, you end up getting more nitric oxide in the combination. So taking the combination gives you more nitric oxide versus taking the individual L-arginine and the L-citrulline alone. So with that said, generally it is recommended if you're gonna purchase a supplement of L-arginine, the general recommendation is go with one that has a combination of L-arginine and L-citrulline. And I'll put some links of some of the recommended products in the description. You can take a look if you decide to purchase uh, from Amazon. Thank you so much for staying through. I hope this video has been helpful. Stay blessed. Catch you on the next video.